Welcome, welcome, welcome to another vlog starting here at Fitness Culture. Um, it's a mess. It's like a Gymshark bomb went off in here. These were a special package from Gymshark, got a secret project. They're actually all in this chair. Got supplements everywhere. A mountain biking helmet that I got for Morgan. Only if I had a Morgan to put that helmet on. I don't have a Morgan, she's still in Australia. Obviously you guys know that. Supplements everywhere, which reminds me, I need to take that box down to the front desk. I've gave, I'm giving some to the Dixie State coaches because that's where I played football. They're here in St. George, Utah. Oh, it's a Monday. It's a crazy Monday, post Super Bowl. How about that game? Whether you like to admit it or not, and I had a hard time admitting this, Tom Brady is the GOAT. Tom Brady steps it up when he needs to step it up. I hear people talking about like, oh, Aaron Rodgers is better, this and that. Tom Brady makes everyone else's game elevate. He, the minute he steps into the locker room, he brings this aura with him that just makes people better. He is the best football player of all time. Why? Because the mo he's the most valuable player on teams that win the Super Bowl. He's won seven times, he's been there I think nine. So you can't argue that. Like, is he the best? It's hard to say the best football player. Obviously there's 11 guys on the field. It's not like basketball. It's not like golf. It's not an individual person sport. It's not like even in Major League Baseball, you get a dominant pitcher up there. But if there's one quarterback I want taking my team to the Super Bowl in his prime, it is Tom Brady. Sorry if you disagree with that, but you can't argue stats. He took a team that didn't make the playoffs last year to the Super Bowl and beat the defending Super Bowl champion, Kansas City. And he made Kansas City look bad. Like, they just look bad. So, anyhow, Kansas City will probably be back. I'm a, I'm a Denver Bronco Peyton Manning fan, but at the end of the day, you got to give some respect to the GOAT. Put some respect on that man's name. You know what I'm saying, Hobbs? You got to put some respect on that man's name. Oh my gosh, I didn't see this. Look what just came. If you guys have seen some of my other vlogs from about a month ago, about a month ago, month ago. How about a week ago? Um, you guys see that I eat Magic Spoon almost every night. It's like, I get bored, I start missing my girlfriend, and I reach into my cupboard and I bust out Magic Spoon. What is Magic Spoon? Well, I'm about to show you guys. It's your lucky day. Oh yeah, a little variety pack. So, Magic Spoon, super macro friendly. Oh, the variety pack here. Super macro friendly. Look, high protein, keto friendly, gluten free, grain free, soy free, wheat free, naturally flavored, totally delicious, childlike cereal for grown ups. Childlike cereal for grown ups. It's my best Jim Carrey. How did I do? We all wear masks, metaphorically speaking. Wow! But yeah, magic spoon. Fruity. This with this and this combination, the fruity cereal protein. I mean, look at, look at that. Net carbs, four net carbs, 13 grams protein. With this, that's a match made in heaven, if I do say so myself. Hey, Hobbs, can you take your nasty ass bone away? That right there is a winner. Maybe you will even wear these shoes because they all go together so nicely. If you guys want to use my Magic Spoon link, it is in the description. They have fruity cereal. They have frosted peanut butter. Actually, I haven't had that one in a while. And then chocolate, cocoa. So the cocoa with the chocolate protein is also fire. All right, I'm about to go do a workout. I'm gonna take some creatine and I'm gonna take pump. You guys can see I'm already a little wired. Why? Because I just had a coffee, a pistachio coffee from Starbucks. Pump product has some creatine in it. Don't need any more caffeine, so I'm taking this. That cup of coffee has me lit. And today, you know what? We're doing it. I haven't been training, um, I haven't been running because of my back. You guys didn't see the last couple of vlogs. I had a bulging disc in my back and I got a cortisone shot. Had kind of had to take it easy for about two weeks. Haven't been running, definitely haven't been sprinting. Haven't ran probably three to four weeks now. I was trying to get better at the military fitness test, the Navy one, um, but today I think I'm gonna do it. Do as many push-ups as I can in two minutes and also do as many sit-ups as I can in two minutes. Ready, set, let's go get changed. What? Look at that camo. Look at the double-double camo. Can you guys even see me? Can you see me here? If I do this, 
Nope, you guys can't see me, just double camo. Um, this Arrival collection releases February 25th. Um, Arrival is what it's called. Shorts, all sorts of different colored camo tops that Gymshark's coming out with. Whew, you guys ready for this? Hobbs isn't ready for it. You ready to film this again? I'm never ready. He told me last time I was a pansy for how poorly I did. Roll that footage of me not doing great in this. So yeah, you guys can see, I need to make sure I come out with a good showing today. No excuses, yeah, my back hurt. Yeah, I had COVID. But we're just gonna do our best today. So we're gonna start off with two minutes of push-ups after I stretch. All right, a few things to go over. I'm actually doing the new Navy PT test, which actually works great for my lower back. So I'm gonna be foam rolling, stretching out. Um, so I'm gonna go over the exact events. Check out my legs though, from mountain biking. The pedals, the pedals on the mountain bike have like little spikes so your shoes don't slip off. And a couple times I slipped off or when I was getting going, yep, tore up. So, I'm a real boy, I'm a real boy. Two biggest things, instead of doing the curl ups, sit ups, curl ups, we're gonna be doing a plank. So I've been on the Navy site and a lot of you guys mentioned there was a new Navy test coming. So starting in about two weeks, every single new person in the Navy will have to do this PT test. Um, really like the fact that what they're doing here is they looked at it and thought, okay, the curl up, that full sit up, isn't a great real indicator of how strong your abs are. So instead they're going to a plank, which is a better indicator. Also, all that spinal flexion really isn't good for the lower back. So for me, it's gonna play to that. Now, obviously you have to have a nice tight core when doing a plank, you don't want that lower back to sag. But again, all those curl ups, I didn't do a lot of those curl ups when I had a bad back, that's for sure. I also didn't do a lot of running. So you can opt out of running. They have two options. You can do the 1.5 mile run, or you can do a 2000 meter row as fast as possible. We'll go over what I need to get to score outstanding. But my goal today is to be in the 99th percentile, not just for my age group, that's most important, but also just for overall, like in every single category. Could you please? Thank you. All right, so first thing we'll be doing is push-ups. That is the only event that we'll carry over today from the original PT test here in the Navy. The new Navy PT test has two other different exercises, which I'm actually happy about. Um, but the first one you'll be performing is a push-up. Um, the reason we're performing this first is because we'll be using some of the same muscles we'll be using for the next exercise. So for the push-ups, I did 73 last time. Um, I kind of came to a full lockout. I'm not gonna do that this time. 92 is gonna be the goal we're shooting for. I get a maximum score my age if I do 80. Um, so we'll go from there. All right, two minutes, max push-ups. Last score was 73. I gotta get at least 80. Five second Stretch. countdown. Four, three, two, one. For any age, 92. We just knocked out 100 push-ups in two minutes. If you recall to that last video, I think that's exactly what I said I was gonna do. Play with me. Say 100 push-ups. 
feel good about that. I get three minutes rest, and then I'm on to our next exercise, which will be the plank. Still all pumped up. Next up, instead of the curl-ups, instead of the sit-ups, we have the plank. So, I have to get at least 325 for a maximum score. If I want to get a maximum overall score for all of the age groups, it's 340. That basically, if you're 17 to 19 and want to get a maximum score, you have to get 340. So, uh, I can't drop my head. My head can't go down to my hands. I must maintain 90 degrees in my elbow in that plank position, and I must maintain a nice flat back. So, um, never done a plank for this long. Typically, I do a minute, minute and a half. Three minutes is intense. Three, two, one. Just gotta go to a happy place here. Don't wanna look at the time. Just wanna maintain good posture. Might start shaking here. Max added right around, right around 325. Oh, definitely felt that in the hip flexors. Obviously, transverse abs, everything. Even shoulders still, push-ups straight in the plank. And that's why we do the plank after the push-ups, because you need those stabilizing muscles for push-ups. But doing the plank right after that, maybe should have rested. I said three minutes rest time, but you have two minutes to 15 minutes, actually. Last event. Run 1.5 miles, 1.5 miles, or the row. I'm a better rower, and rowing's great because all the musculature in your body works 80% of your entire body. So a lot more overall muscular endurance in rowing than just with running. And me, because I have a big upper body, something like rowing is gonna be more advantageous for me. I'm gonna get that big push with my legs and then the pull. So a 2,000 meter row, um, you have to do it in seven minutes if you're the youngest age demographic. So that's, that's the best score of any age group. If you do it in seven minutes or under, you're a total badass. Um, from my age group category, which again, it's not that much difference. It's seven minutes and 20 seconds. So this display will give us the meters and how long it's taking. So again, seven minutes or under is the goal. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Three hundred meters, one minute in. Halfway there, nine hundred to ninety nine meters. I'm right on pace for just over seven minutes. Two thousand meters, seven fifty fourteen. Oh, damn! Seven minutes, fourteen seconds. 
That's maximum for my age. 14 seconds off. Maximum for any category. Much better rowing than running a mile and a half, but it still sucked. Your turn, bud. You're in the youngest demographic. That was a doozy. That absolutely kicked my butt, but not as bad as the first Navy PT test where I was really upset. I had done it right after COVID and 73 push-ups, probably the worst showing in any kind of push-up contest that I've had ever. When I was in sixth grade, I think I did um, almost 60 push-ups in 30 seconds. The plank, never done a max plank. Really happy with the fact that did over three minutes and 20 seconds. And then really happy that I did under seven minutes and 20 seconds for a 2000 meter row. Definitely feel like I could have gotten max scores for the youngest age demographic, but I maxed out my age demographic, meaning I couldn't get any more points for my age, which I feel good about. Be, uh, I would definitely say that in the top 99.9 .9 percentile, maybe 99, we'll just say 99 percentile for the age demographic. Um, you know, I don't know if it was the fact that I was wearing my arrival camel top. Again, I said camel again, camo top, but it definitely didn't hurt. Um, love this. Let me know in the comments below which one you guys think I should do next. There's some cool ones out there. Um, there's a new one with the with deadlifts. Maybe we'll do that and then that one next. So let me know which one you guys think I should do. I'm gonna sit here and stretch out a little bit, go have a protein shake, and then take hops to the dog park. Do you wanna go to the dog park? You wanna go see Calvin? You wanna go see Calvin? Oh, he's ready. That was a mean trick. All right, appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you guys next time.